Good afternoon, Justin. Yes. Hi. Uh, we're glad to have you. This is obviously a very important pitch for us. Yes, I know. Well, what with our company's recent trouble, you know, we're one bad product pitch away from living a life as vagrants. Murderous vagrants. Well, uh, I, I really think the BTX 1000 is the digital camera for your company. It's going to be your go-to product on the front lines. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm already impressed. How does she handle mortar rounds, May? Um, I'm sorry, I... Just don't mind him. Tell us about this BTX 1000. Well, it's a cutting-edge, high-resolution, high-response-speed digital camera with high-resolution and an ultra-fast response speed. I'm talking cutting-edge with a high-resolution. Yeah? How's the response speed? Oh, it's top-notch. Great. You know what? Why don't I show you what it can do? Oh, oh. uh... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I just... I didn't really get dressed up for this occasion. Roll out of bed in the, uh, uh, you know, well, uh... Assume. I mean, if you'd rather I just... Well, 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 if you insist. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could. <clears throat> Smile. Bingo! What did it just do? Um, it, uh... Took a picture. No, uh, it, it made an exclamation of some kind. Oh, uh, that? Yeah. <laughs> what, what was that? Yes! Damn it. Uh, it was the indicator that the photo was taken. See, when I take a picture, I know. <laughs> that's the sound the camera makes. Why? I, I'm afraid I, I don't understand the question. Uh, why the hell would it make that noise? Well, uh, the issue is demographics. Really? What do, you, what do you mean? The average computer-savvy post-adolescent youth already understands the nuances of the modern digital camera. However, this demographic is already dominated by competing products. So BTX needs to cater to other demographics. Ones that aren't familiar with terms like nanotechnology or salutary neglect. Which demographics are those? Oh, NASCAR dads, soccer moms, uh, American Idol aunts and uncles, post-mortem first cousins, Planned Parenthood pensioners. You're saying that those demographics don't understand digital cameras? No! <laughs> Not at all! In fact, they are confounded by the beeps and clicks and rap music that accompanies the modern digital camera. In fact, Recent polls have shown that these people are never really sure whether they took a picture at all. I see. Wow. So we've implemented the bango. <laughs> now it's certainly clear when a picture is being taken. Well, you can't argue with that. But... What? It seems like the bango could cause problems in certain situations. Well, like what? Uh, piano recitals, bank robberies... Well, there's another feature that maybe would fix that. Oh. It's the inactivity indicator. See, what it does, it lets the consumer know when a picture is not being taken. Because, like I said, sometimes it's unclear. I see. I just flick this switch here. You are not taking a picture. You are not taking a picture. You are not taking a picture. And then I take a picture. You are not taking a picture. You are not taking a picture. You are not taking a picture. You see how it stopped there? You are not taking a picture. You are not taking a picture. No. See, it stopped telling me I wasn't taking a picture when I took a picture. I thought you said that these people didn't understand subtle nuances. That was pretty subtle. Well, some people will be up to the task and others will fall behind. But they've always got the bango. Very true, very true. That's a very uh, Ronald Reagan-esque philosophy you got there. You know, it's funny you should mention that. He's my power animal. Uh, what? You're supposed to picture yourself in a cave and the first animal that comes along is your power animal. You know, most people get wolves or unicorns. Yeah, I got the gipper. Well, that's very unusual. Nevertheless, I think we should go forward with production. Yes, I'm satisfied. Great! Well, you know, I have some more ideas, if you like. Shoot. Well, what is Cereal's arch enemy? Nutrition. Toaster strip. No. Milk. Oh. Right. Cereal has been standing up to Milk's onslaught since the dawn of time. And now, we're getting its back. How? Anti-Milk. Add this to your cereal box before you pour it in the bowl, and Milk won't wear cereal down. It stays crisp. Really? Yeah. You know, there is a, a minor problem, though. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Well, after adding anti-milk 
the cereal can only stay in the milk for around 30 minutes. After that, it becomes... <sighs> poisonous. Poisonous? Well, uh, how poisonous? Like, vomiting discomfort poisonous or kill a bear? Well, you know, I'm not sure the bear would die, but it would probably sh 